Hello and welcome to the wellness segment. I am Perpetual Fast and Repeater. Low respiratory tract infections are any infections in the lungs or the lower airways below the voice box. This infection is usually caused by a virus, but it can also be caused by bacteria or other less common organisms. A lower respiratory tract infection can affect the airways, such as with the bronchitis or the air sacs at the end of the airways, as in the case of pneumonia. Joining us to make sense of this is Dr. Olushola Atayero. Hello, Doctor. Good to have you on board. Uh, good afternoon. Good to have you. All right. Well, Doctor, talk to us about lower respiratory tract infections. What are they? Okay, good. Uh, as you defined earlier, lower respiratory tract infections infection as uh, infections in the lungs or below the lower or uh, the the voice box that is the larynx as you said the lower respiratory tract infection includes the pneumonia the bronchitis the bronchiolitis and um sometimes you can put tuberculosis or covid-19 as part of the lower respiratory tract infections they can be caused by bacteria Major cause is virus, which they can be virus or bacteria or fungi or due to immunosuppressed state of the patient. So there are different level of these symptoms that we can have. It can be from mild to severe. It all depends on the level of the severity of the infection. So lower respiratory tract infection, basically they are the uh, infection of the lungs. So that's the definition, and the major cause of it is virus. So other causes can be bacteria, can be fungi. And major one is a flu, influenza virus, majorly occurs in children. And uh, uh, we have this pneumonia, which is caused by some virus too, respiratory syncytial virus, or the, uh, uh, the pneumonia virus too. It can be bacteria, like streps, streptococcus, or staph aureus. It can be a cause of bacteria. The fungi, the fungi causes of pneumonia are caused by the immunosuppressed states of some people having HIV or they are being managed by some, uh, some medical conditions as well. So those are the things I can talk presently on, uh, on uh, uh, pertaining to lower respiratory tract infections. The lower respiratory, the, the lower respiratory tract uh, comprises of the wind, uh, windpipe, that is the large airways, the bronchi, the small airways, the bronchioles, and the air sac, the alveolar. Uh, my pronunciation might be somehow, but I don't want to bore you with medical terms too much. I want to simplify it to your understanding. All right, that's good. Okay, let's look at the symptoms. You, you've, you've mentioned a lot of things here, but then what are the symptoms to look out for? Well, there are ma the major symptoms of lower respiratory tract infections that is very common is a cough. Um, sometimes it might, uh, we, can, uh, we can split it into severe mild symptoms. The mild symptoms comprises of the um, stuffiness, dry cough, uh, sometimes sore throats, sometimes you might have aches. But a severe state of symptoms, we can have a uh, uh, chronic cough that is production of phlegm. We can have eye fever. We can have difficulty in breathing. We can have blue tinge of skin color that is uh, when uh, when the oxygen level is uh, is uh, is low. So we can have rapid breathing and uh, chest pain as well. Those are the symptoms of lower respiratory tract infection. Okay. Uh, what about? Let's look at uh, the difference between the lower respiratory tract infection and the upper respiratory tract infection. Are there differences in symptoms, and what, uh, what what's this difference? Well, the major symptom uh, difference between upper and lower respiratory tract infection is the location of the infection. In the upper respiratory tract infection, we have it, it occurs from the organs above the larynx, that is above the, 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 the voice box. And the uh, both actually they always have similar uh, symptoms, but there are some specific differences in their symptoms. 
So in lower respiratory tract infection, we have cough as the major classic difference between the lower and the upper. In the upper respiratory tract infection, you have sneezing, you have sore throat that is majorly common and it's commonly in the upper parts above the neck, is around the neck region. So we have running of nose, catheter, sneezing in upper, but in lower, it's majorly cough. If it's super infected, you might be having fever, you might be having general body aches. So those are the major symptoms. The location is the major symptoms where the infection occurs. All right. Are there preventive measures that people can take, you know, just to ensure they don't come down with lower respiratory tract infection? Uh, um, prevention, uh, there are so many prevention. Normally, general body cleaning uh, and avoiding touching of places without washing your hands regularly. You try to disinfect your surfaces. Those are the preventions that you can do at home. You are, there are some vaccines that uh, are in markets that you can use to prevent infections. Like uh, in children now, they have the kind of infection, uh, the vaccine like pneumococci vaccines, the MHR, measles, uh, rubella, viral vaccines, um, flu injections, which is not common in Nigeria, but it's common in abroad that they take a short early to prevent them from contacting every flu, influenza, virus, um, infections. And you avoid irritants that can cause inflammation of the lung, um, lung, uh, uh, lung uh, cells around you that can cause infections. So those are the things, contact with people with chronic cough or people coughing around you. Those are the preventions that you can do it. Okay, now I, I'm just wondering, uh, is there any possibility of complications with lower respiratory tract infection? Uh, some complications of lower respiratory tract, if not treated. Actually, the, I said it before that there are mild to severe uh, symptoms of lower respiratory tract infection. Um, infection. The mild symptoms uh, might uh, lower respiratory tract infections can be treated from home. They are something that is a viral infection that they will run their normal course within 10 to 14 days. That even if not treated, you by drinking of water, drinking of water, taking of pain drugs, taking of uh, sleeping well, having enough rest can clear the symptoms and clear the infection. But in case of severe states, if not well treated, it can cause lung abscess, which it can be a very complicated uh, disease or treatments that it might involve a specialist to handle. Uh, in some other cases, if left untreated, some people can develop uh, cardiac failure due to the cause of, um, if there is a poorly treated pneumonia, it can lead to uh, congestive cardiac failure. We have, um, uh, in children, it's not something that, uh, you know, the severity of uh, lower respiratory tract infection, especially pneumonia, depends on the elderly or uh, big, uh, children, children under five years. They have high severity of age, yes, yes, under five age. Age is a, is a factor that we must consider uh, in treating or classifying them into mild or severe, severe state of infection. So. Uh, the complications are common when left untreated. If we leave it for a while, it, it gets into a severe state, not treated, it can lead to those complications I highlighted earlier, like uh, uh, cardiac failure, lung abscess, all these chest symptoms. So those are the symptoms, complications. Okay. I was going to ask you about, you know, care and treatment, but I think somehow you've touched on that when you were talking about uh, issues of uh, complication and all of that. But now the question is, um, I, I'm just wondering uh, if you can also talk about this now, that's uh, talking about the care and the treatment. Okay. I said if uh, there are various causes of um, lower respiratory tract infection, if it's viral, it is more of symptomatic treatment. I like a viral with run its course within 10 to 14 days. So the major home care 
treatment using the person is coughing they can get a cough syrup they can get multivitamins um, they can drink a lot of water have adequate rest those are the viral uh, if we are so sure that this is the viral cause of this lower respiratory tract infection but in the case when we suspect because before we start treatment there must be something like investigations we have planning to do so if we are suspecting something like bacteria we can or we are suspecting pneumonia we can go for chest x-ray rule out if this is a normal chest code a uh, normal chest code or common codes we rule out if it's pneumonia if it's global pneumonia if it's bacteria we can take blood sample to rule out whether it's a viral cause or bacteria infection so that because a viral infection, we don't really need any antibiotics when we are treating viral cause of uh, lower respiratory tract infection. But if it's bacteria cause that we can rule out, we can see some bacteria infection like the neutrophil or the samples we took from the blood sample, we can really rule out this bacterial infection. We have to place the patient on antibiotics. And if the severity, maybe difficulty in breathing is coming up, the person may be hospitalized so that we might give oxygen, might give something to relieve, to allow airways to be free so that they can breathe very well because uh, the level of severity also determine the level of care we give to the patients. So we have to work on, we have to be ascertain the cause of the infection so that we can determine what kind of line of management we do. But basically, if after two, three days, there is symptoms is still persisting, I will advice that they should visit their hospital so that the doctor can handle them more. All right, doctor, very quickly, are there risk factors? Um, this can, you know, help, um, also help us in uh, preventing uh, this particular infection. Are there risk factors that we need to be wary of? Well, uh, in Nigeria, there are so many causes of risk that are risk factors. Risk factors for lower respiratory tract infections is majorly our weather, if you're doing cold weather, there's high rate of this kind of infection. Um, lower immunity, if the person has some underlying medical condition or poor diet, uh, environmental factors too. If you are working in a densely populated area where there are so many of homes, uh, dusty environments, you can tend up to, to develop lower respiratory tract infection. Children are also, I said it earlier, that children under five are at the risk of developing this kind of infections. Elderly above 60, 65 years old, they have a tendency of developing lower respiratory tract infection. So those are the risk factors that I can mention at this point. So. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Shola, for sharing your thoughts with us. Well, we've been speaking with Dr. Lushola Atayiro, Medical Officer, Solid Rock Hospital. Many thanks to you for watching. See you again on Fit and Well. In the meantime, do enjoy the rest of the day. I am Perpetua Fasomi Peter.